Everyone in this world has a life that is busy. Some of us have jobs to do, school to go to, and taxes to pay. And overall, we sometimes don't have a lot of time in the day to do the things that we need to do. However, whenever there is a moment in our pointless lives where we can spend a few hours watching a movie, of course we're going to take advantage of that. But if you value time so much to the point where you're going to watch a movie at 2x speed, then you have no right to watch that movie. Because that makes all the opinions you had about the movie invalid, it's a slap on the face for the filmmakers, and also there are better ways to watch a movie as opposed to watching it in 2x speed. And I'm here to tell you how you could do that. Because first of all, this may sound kind of pretentious, but if you're watching a movie at turbo and sino speeds, I don't want to hear your opinions of the movie. Because sometimes the movie is supposed to dangle you by the chest hair in order to create tension in some scenes, or a character is delivering a good monologue and it's meant to be slowed down. Because those kinds of scenes are there for a reason, and you were supposed to digest every single word someone is saying like it's a golf ball. But on top of that, imagine having discussions about movies with your friends, and you giving your opinion on a movie that you watched at 2x speed. Because I'm sorry, I'm gonna take your opinion and shove it up your nostrils, because you didn't experience the movie the right way. You watched something completely different. For example, imagine watching a horror movie and you sped up all the build up to a jump scare and then you come back to tell people that the jump scares in the movie weren't scary well yeah no doubt probably because they lasted 10 seconds instead of 20 suspenseful and exciting seconds and moreover watching a movie at 2x speed is like a slap in the face of so many filmmakers because they constructed a film that is made to be a certain way everything in the movie and the length of the movie is there for a reason and i bet they fought hard with the studio to ensure that their version of the movie is the final movie that they wanted to make and after some nipple twisting months of making the movie they finally released it the studio Students didn't interfere and nobody could change the experience of this film that they made except for the viewers themselves by speeding up the entire thing and changing the tone of the movie. You see what I'm saying? It's like you spitting in the eye of the movie makers because you are saying that your time is more valuable than watching their movie. And if that is the case, what the hell are you doing watching my movie? Go do something else instead. Go do something else which is important. But when you feel like you have the time to spare, come back and watch it properly. For example, everyone has been hearing that the new Leonardo DiCaprio movie, Killers of the Flower Moon, they've been hearing that it's really, really good. However, what's putting them off from watching it is the daunting three and a half hour runtime. But here's the thing. I don't think there's a problem with watching that kind of movie over two days. Because at least you watch it at its proper speed, thus getting the full experience. Because filmmakers aren't oblivious. They know that people don't have the time to watch a movie that is the length of half of a workday. Like, I bet not everyone slapped their tushy on a seat and watched Zack Snyder's four-hour cut of Justice League straight. That's just not practical for some people. So what the filmmaker does is that they make it known in the movie when there is a new act. So that way you could take a break and come back to it later. Because filmmakers wouldn't want you to ruin the experience for yourself by watching it at super speed. Breaking it up is the best option possible. Because like I said, watching a movie at that kind of speed is lame. You're basically watching an entirely different movie. And above all, you shouldn't be watching a movie in the first place if you don't have the time to do it. So yeah, thanks for watching.